Did you know that before the Constitution, there was another governing system in the U.S.? Following the Declaration of Independence in July 1776, most Americans knew a new system of government was needed that would grant the states autonomy to govern themselves while binding them together as one republic. So the original 13 states drafted the Articles of Confederation, the first system of government in the new United States. Under the Articles of Confederation, there was no separation of powers, no president, no federal judicial system, only the Congress. And while it could do things like suggest taxation, it was up to each state to enforce those measures. It soon became clear that this system of government presented America with more questions than answers. During the American Revolution, for example, states disagreed over who was responsible for paying the duties of the Continental Army. And when Congress imposed higher taxes to pay off the country's debt, it was unable to suppress the armed uprisings that followed. That's why the Founding Fathers sought to create a new federal system, one that divided powers between the national and state governments. The result was the Constitution, which remains the supreme law of the land to this day. So why does it matter? Well, when we understand just how weak and ineffective the Articles of Confederation really were, we can begin to appreciate just how good a job the Constitution did of establishing the powers, laws, and rights that continue to shape our lives today. Why do you think the Articles of Confederation are today deemed a failure? 